that his government has indeed gone ahead with uh, beefing up its patrols of its southern border. Traditionally, Indonesia has focused its uh, its naval presence, its assets to the north, where there was uh, a greater perceived threat. That uh, balance has been shifted, and uh, as confirmed by Dr. Natalie Gawa overnight in Switzerland, our reporter Dan Bush is on the ground there, and he filed this report. Indonesian Foreign Minister Marty Nataligawa has confirmed that security has been tightened around the archipelago. He also says that some warships have been moved. However, Mr Nataligawa says this isn't war posturing. It's not meant to, to be an unfriendly act to anyone. It's just a, a country that is keen to ensure that our sovereign border uh, is properly uh, protected. On the question of territorial incursions, Mr Natalie Gawa says that he believes that it was inadvertent that Australian Navy boats went into Indonesia's territorial waters and he says he doesn't expect that to happen again. However, Mr Natalie Gawa says the government's turn back the boats policy continues to cause ruptures. We find it quite unhelpful uh, to have this policy. I have said in the past that this is uh, can be a slippery slope and we have seen uh, events over the past week or so uh, precisely uh, that being the case. That's why we feel that uh, it would be best if we all take stock of where we are just now and ensure that uh, things don't get out of hand. Uh, but certainly in so far as the bilateral relations between our two countries, it remains in a very good state. On the questions of the allegations that asylum seekers had their hands pushed against hot pipes by Australian Navy personnel, Mr Natalagawa says he would expect the Australian government to fully investigate. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Davos, Switzerland.